so in replication both strands were being used but in transcription only one strand is used agar aapko replication mein yaad ho to is tarah dna unzip ho raha tha aur both strands ke upar dna polymerase ultimately naye strand bana raha tha lekin transcription mein sirf ek strand use hoga aur wo jo strand use hoga usko hum kya kehte hain template strand लेकिन जो स्ट्रैंड उसके ऑपोजिट होता है उसको हम कहते हैं कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड हम उसको कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड इसलिए कहते हैं क्योंकि उसकी एग्जैक्टली exactly वही सीक्वेंस होती है जो एमआरएनए की होती है और वो हमको अल्टीमेटली कैसी प्रोटीन बननी है उसका उसको इंडिकेट भी करती है जो आगे हम ट्रांसलेशन में देखेंगे बट इसका यह मतलब नहीं है कि एक जो स्ट्रैंड उसके साथ साथ चल रहा है जो बेसिकली टेम्पलेट के तौर पर एक्ट नहीं कर रहा वो जया हो रहा है दे विल बी इंस्टेंसेज That that particular strand which is opposite to the template strand, जिसको हम coding strand कह रहे हैं that will become a template strand and the other strand would become a coding strand. So basically it will be different for different genes. So एक जीन्स हो सकता है एक strand code कर रहा और दूसरा gene दूसरा strand code कर रहा हो And the transcription direction on different strands can be in opposite. सो एक एक में ऑब्वियसली इट हैज टू बी ऑपोजिट बिकॉज ऑफ थ्री प्राइम टू फाइव प्राइम एंड दिस फीचर इज रेफर टू एज द एसमेट्रिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन लेट्स लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल जो ब्लैक वाला स्ट्रैंड है दैट इज अकोर्डिंग स्ट्रैंड एंड द रेड वन इज टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड नाउ वेन द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन हैपन्स इट गिव्स राइज टू एन आर एन ए अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑब्वियस इन स्टेड ऑफ टी देर इज अल बट वट यू सी इज so actually where is thymine there is uracil what you see is that this is exact copy of the coding strand agar main aap isko rakh kar agar isse match kare to to jo aapka mrna paida hua hai wo bilkul coding strand jaisa hai obviously kyunki rna ke andar thymine nahi hota balki uracil hota hai to therefore you have uracil instead of thymine okay now to reiterate my point that there can be a coding strand and a template strand and that particular dna can also have ke is gene ke liye jo gene number 1 hai agar main isko 1 keh dun to yahan par coding strand hai lekin gene number 2 ke liye coding strand niche hai lekin ab aap yahan par dekh rahe hain ke ek taraf transcription ki direction ye rahi aur dusri taraf transcription ki direction ye rahi so basically that is known as asymmetric transcription ab what we are going to see is ke how this transcription process happens and dna dependent rna polymerase plays a huge role so let's first talk about rna polymerase which is present in prokaryotes prokaryotic rna polymerase is composed of five subunit different five subunit of proteins and it is roughly around 480 kilo dalton and rna polymerase is a hollow enzyme so what do we mean by a hollow enzyme jo protein part hota hai uska jo without cofactor hota hai usko hum apo enzyme kehte hain apo enzyme plus cofactor jo zaruri hota hai usko uski activity ke liye that ultimately yields a hollow enzyme in case of rna polymerase it consists of five different subunits two alphas beta beta prime omega and sigma the sigma in this particular case so this is the core enzyme but when sigma joins in it becomes a hollow enzyme now what these various subunits do they play various functions for example alpha determines the dna to be transcribed beta catalyzes polymerization beta prime binds and open the dna template so that ultimately rest of the subunits can get in and ultimately start performing their activity and then sigma plays a very crucial role it recognizes the promoter for synthesis initiation without sigma polymerase would not know that exactly from where we have to transcribe the gene let me give you an interesting example uh, the mushroom you are watching on your screen is amanita phylloides agar aap ye mushroom kha le to aap kabhi boodhe nahi honge balki jawani mein hi mar jayenge aisa is mushroom mein kya hai कि यू कैन नॉट सर्वाइव दिस पर्टिकुलर मशरूम इसमें एक टॉक्सिन है जिसे हम कहते हैं अल्फा एमेनेटिन 
and that alpha amanitin basically binds to the RNA polymerase in your body and stops it from transcribing. This gives you an idea that how important transcription is for your daily routine. Now, scientists have developed a drug based on the same mechanism known as rifampicin which basically targets RNA polymerase of bacteria. Obviously, if the bacteria ki bajaye, tamam RNA polymerase ko target karegi, to sirf bacteria nahi marega, phir aap bhi mar jayenge. Lekin, Pakistan mein, and it's very commonly tuberculosis Pakistan mein kafi common hai, to it is very heavily used antibiotic in Pakistan. It binds to the beta subunit of RNA polymerase and inhibits the RNA synthesis. Now, transcription process can be divided into three phases, initiation, elongation, termination. Um, let's look at initiation. So, promoter is the DNA sequence that RNA polymerase can bind. RNA polymerase promoter sequence ko recognize karta hai aur usko ja ke bind karta hai. Transcription control mein it's a very key point. Agar hum biotechnology ki baat karein, so basically, हम अपने मर्जी से promoters डालते हैं. Promoter को RNA polymerase कितना tightly bind करेगा, इससे इस तरह हम लोग अपनी gene products regulate करते हैं. And when we are talking about synthetic biology, तो synthetic biology में it is very important to understand that. क्या हम इस level तक पहुंच सकते हैं कि हमने promoters को बिल्कुल specify किया हो कि अगर उसके पीछ आगे जो structural gene आ रहा है, वो जो structural gene है वो इतनी activity देगा इस promoter के थुरू एक ribosome और आपके पास इतनी product आएगी so this is a very key concept here now in prokaryotes promoter is at minus 35 region and the consensus sequence is TTGACA and it acts as a recognition site for RNA polymerase now what is a consensus sequence अगर हम काफी सारे bacteria लें और उनका sequence analyze करें so ultimately, we have RNA polymerase that binds to the nucleotides. And these nucleotides across the species conserve. Hai. That's what do you mean by consensus sequence. So, let's look at some schematics of how a prokaryotic promoter looks like. From one is from where mRNA would start to form. And behind one you can see minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 and so on that's the regulatory region and at minus 10 region you have a ta t double a t ta ta primno box it's known as primno box it's named after the scientist who found it and then in minus 35 region you have a promoter now rna polymerase to, will bind to the minus 35 region and then obviously it, it will go towards minus 10 region but this is the place, Pribno box is the place from where DNA will ultimately start to open up. Yeah, here, here it says very clearly that RNA polymerase recognizes the minus 35 region and slides to the data box at minus 10 region and which opens up the DNA duplex. The unwound region is about 17 plus minus 1 base pairs. So either 16 to 18, it could be possible. And you can see that ultimately it is opened up and from here you, the transcription would proceed further. In this example you can see that there is unwinding of DNA at two places. One is negative supercoil and one is positive supercoil. Or this is the mRNA which is being transcribed in green color. And RNA-DNA hybrid is around eight base pairs. And this is the direction of the transcription from five prime to three prime. This is the non-template strand which we पहले मैंने आप लोगों को बताया आप इसे कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड भी कहते हैं ठीक है ओके नाउ कम्स द इलोंगेशन फेज कि इनिशिएशन तो स्टार्ट हो गई डीएनए ओपन अप भी हो गया आरएनए पॉलीमरेज ने प्रोमोटर को रिकॉग्नाइज भी कर लिया और प्रिब्नो बॉक्स के ऊपर आके डीएनए खुल भी गया लेकिन व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन आफ्टरवर्ड्स सो नो प्राइमर इज नीडेड फॉर आरएनए सिंथेसिस द सिग्मा सब यूनिट जो हमने पहले देखा था जो होलो एंजाइम just ne complete kiya tha it will fall off after making the first 3 to prime 3 prime to 5 prime phosphodiester bond kyunki uska asal kaam tha promoter recognize karna ab uska kaam khatam ho gaya aur wo side ke upar ho gaya 
the core enzyme moves along the DNA template to enter the elongation phase. So the release of this sigma subunit causes a conformational change in the core enzyme. And core enzyme further slides on the DNA template toward the 3' end. Or free nucleotide triphosphates start to add sequentially on the 3' hydroxyl end of the nascent RNA strand or ultimately aapke paas ye N plus 1 se increase hota jayega or ultimately aapke paas nai nucleotide lagte jayenge till a termination sequence comes up. So in this particular diagram you can see that transcription ultimately DNA unwounds, ultimately RNA synthesis begins and it starts to get elongated. Now further we will see that how termination happens.